Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Reagan if you are new here. All right, so if you're into skincare, clean beauty, uh, stuff like that, click the subscribe button down below. And today we're going to be talking all about a new to me brand. Apparently I did a little, I made notes for this video, but this is actually an 11 year old skincare line from just wanna make sure I say this right, Hertfordshire, England. A couple weeks back, Integrity Botanicals sent me basically their entire, not their entire skincare line, but two, four, six, seven, eight pieces actually. One of them I'm not going to be talking about. It has gone in the giveaway box. It's more of an acne product. I don't have any active acne right now, so I'm just not gonna use something that doesn't fit my skin. But I decided to try all this out consistently for the last couple of weeks and just do a review on it because I had everything and I love to do reviews of multiple products or a line straight out. I think it's really helpful because a lot of times lines are developed to work with one another and to balance your skin's pH level. So I was excited to give this stuff a go. Let's roll in and talk about what I thought were the best, worst, and in-between products. I will say I did really like five of the products. There's only two that one's an in-between and then one's a worst. So yeah, let's just start talking. I have quite a bit to say. Okay, so the first product, I didn't think I'd actually like that much, but it actually turned out to be one of my favorites. So this is their Liquid Radiance Glycolic Toner. This is an AHA and BHA liquid exfoliator, and it's supposed to instantly smooth and brighten skin. So the glycolic acid in this comes from sugarcane, and the salicylic acid in this comes from willow bark. I just think it's a really nice toner. I only use this at night. I actually feel like I was seeing turnover from those exfoliation properties, and when I would wake up, my skin, I feel like the products I was using that I really liked together really was making my skin better because I do have some hyperpigmentation. I do have some little spots and stuff that I get every now and then from allergies or, you know, I get blemishes as well that are hormonal. And I do feel like this product, because of that AHA, BHA property, really was turning over my skin. Again, I only did use this at night. I didn't want to use this during the day because of those properties as well. It can really make your skin more susceptible to sun damage. So yeah, uh, I was using a different, just really gentle, I believe it was the oil toner. I talked about it in my empties. I'll have that linked up here. I did like that, but I really was impressed with this. And what is cool is I wrote this down because I couldn't just memorize all the prices. You can get a travel size like this for $14 and then their full size is 28. So that was something just the whole line in general I was impressed with because you can get, again, the travel sizes like this that are really affordable, or you can kind of get more, I wouldn't say it's like a it's somewhere between a prestige and a mass category, meaning it's not quite drugstore, but it's also not quite like really luxury or like high end. It's kind of, but I wouldn't call it prestige. It's like, it's attainable skincare price point wise. So that's why I wanted to really give it a go and see what it was like. One of the things I also liked about this is because it does have those glycolics and salicylics in it, I don't like to spray that because it can make my eyes really irritated. So I do like that this just sprays into your hand. I think that's really cool and clever and they were really thoughtful in coming out with that sprayer. Instead of it being like a mist, you just pump it into your hand and it's a pump instead of like a fine mist. I'm smelling this, it has kind of a fresh scent to it. It's not heavily fragranced. None of their stuff is heavily fragranced. I was looking and it seemed that none of their stuff was fragranced with any essential oils. I could be mistaken. That's the one thing out of all these notes that I didn't look up, but it looked like they were using vanilla extract as their fragrance ingredient. So a lot of the products do have vanilla as the fragrance. So yeah, just letting you all know that. All right, and then their Hyaluronic 200 Serum is another one of my favorites. So I'm empty of this actually. I love me a watery based serum. So the base of this is water, rose water, glycerin, and aloe. They use a really low molecular weight hyaluronic acid molecule, which is supposed to penetrate even deeper allowing your skin for more hydration. This is not sponsored by any means, by the way. I'm just trying to give you guys information about the products and then my thoughts as well. I really do feel like my skin was plumper with this, really hydrated, not irritated. 
I could only speak good things about this. It's also a really decently priced serum for the ingredients they use and for the size of it as well. So for this trial size, it's $18. For the bigger size, it's 46. So that is a little bit higher of a price point for the full size, but I will say if you're looking at like a Kipris serum that's almost $90, it it kind of makes it make sense kind of thing. Okay, one ingredient that I wrote down that I did want to talk about from this is pomegranate extract. So it's high in elegiac acid, which helps to regulate cell turnover. So this strengthens the cell membrane, therefore limiting water loss and free radical damage. So it's just a super hydrating, super awesome serum. I really liked it, used it morning and night, had really nice results. I feel like my skin was super hydrated when I was using it. Uh, I stopped using this about, because I became empty of it, I would say about five days ago, days, days. And I do feel like my skin is not as plump as it was. And you know, I really do feel that for real. So I do like it and I would recommend it and I really was seeing results. These two products were my favorites that I really felt like I was seeing like turnover, plumping, result-oriented skincare. Okay, and then this is the Miracle Face Oil. So this has rosehip oil in it, which is rich in essential fatty acids. It has argan oil, which is rich in vitamin E. Nigella oil, which is black seed oil, actually. So I have watched a few videos that my friend Malika has done about this, and apparently it's like this really magical oil. It's really high in antioxidants and vitamin A, so it allows for really nice moisturization. And this also has like a vanilla scent to it like I was talking about with the other products. I do feel like the serum didn't have any scent to it. It was just one of those water-based serums that just didn't smell like anything. I can't really pick when I smell this, the vanilla out of it. I just think it smells like a traditional oil that we all kind of smell that's a little bit warmer in scent, especially when you get all of those like argon and rosehip blended together. So for the small size like this, it's $16. For the big size, it's 40. I'll say this isn't my absolute favorite product, but I do think it's a really awesome oil. At the same time, it was good, and the way it paired with the other products, I think it was a really nice addition. I mostly would use this in the morning, and then I would layer something else over it that we're gonna talk about in a second. And then initially, this was the first product that I used and I fell in love with it. And I was like, okay, I wanna use this whole line now because I was watching a larger conventional beauty influencer talk about this. When you get PR, there's no real reply. It's not, I don't wanna say it's not special and sound ungrateful. I'm very grateful for it, but it's kinda like, I do get stuff now and I only wanna talk about stuff if I really want to. And this product made me wanna talk about this line and try the whole thing because I thought it smelled amazing. It smells like cake batter. So it has a chocolate vanilla scent and the chocolate scent comes from the raw cacao and that is high in antioxidants and cell repairing ingredients, magnesium, vitamin C, and the fatty acid omega-6. This also has sweet almond oil in it and it also has blueberry particles. And the blueberry particles are actually dried up blueberry seeds that are crushed and polished and act as an exfoliating agent when you rinse this off. So when you use this, you only wear this for about five, 10 minutes. I usually do like a bath when I do this and then I rinse it off with bath water and then I wash my face afterwards. And I did notice a little bit of a glow afterwards. I honestly just think it's like such an experience based product because it smells like cake batter or brownie batter. It just smells so, I probably got some on the top of my nose. It just smells so good. So this was one I really would recommend because it's a little bit different. It's a pre-made mask, so you don't have to add any water to it or anything. And for the small size, it's $16. For the large size, it's 32. So just want y'all to know the prices because I think that is kind of an important element from this line because it is handmade in small batches, but you still get a decent price point. So I thought that was cool. All right, and then lastly but not leastly from the best, I really did like their Daily Renew face cream. It's just a super simple face cream that has natural peptides, hyaluronic acid in it, and argon oil. The base of this is water, sunflower seed oil, shea butter, glycerin, apricot kernel oil, sesame seed oil, and aloe. So it's a really nice creamy product. I have my fake nails on, of course, so. I just wanna get a little bit out so I can rub it on my hand and talk about it. But it absorbs nicely into the skin. 
It's not super heavy. It has a nice light scent to it. I think they use that vanilla in this as well. And it was just a simple cream. I don't have tons to say about it besides for the fact why I liked it. It absorbs well, it isn't too thick or heavy. And I do feel like my skin was hydrated from it. So I'd mostly use the cream at night and the oil in the morning time. Oh, for good measure, this one was $18 for this size. And then for the large size, it's $38. So again, important to talk about this, I think. All right, and then we're going to talk about the worst product. So this was the one I didn't like, and this is their Gentle Cleansing Melt. It's for normal to dry skin. It has organic baobab and vanilla. So it is 90%, 99% organic. All of these products are natural and organic. They do have different percentages of how much is natural and how much is organic. They do write them all on the packaging if you're curious. Why I didn't love this, it really reminded me in texture of the Uni Balm that I tried a while back. And I ended up doing a video about that. I don't think I was absolutely obsessed with it, but a few months later I used that product and I got red skin and like it was it irritated my skin this one doesn't irritate my skin i think it's a little bit more naturally based than the unibom one but it's kind of a similar concept where it's this clear jelly cleanser and when you use it you use it when it's dry you rub it into your face and it's supposed to break down makeup you know, oil, everything. And then when you add water to it, it becomes kind of a little bit white and milky. Well, for me personally, why I don't like this is that would be cool if when you rinse it, it rinses totally clean. I think it leaves a little bit of a residue behind. So I'm not sure because I wrote down the ingredients of this, if it's from that Baobab, if Baobab is a little bit thicker and it leaves a residue behind, which is fine if that is some sort of an oil or a moisturizer, but as a cleanser, I like everything to be rinsed perfectly clean. And then I'll add my pH balancers back in with toners, oil, serum. So I like for my skin to just be rinsed clean and not have any residue left on it. That's why for me, it's just my worst one. I didn't like it. I straight up prefer a gel cleanser or even a cream cleanser, but this was kind of something in between and it just kind of doesn't really work for me. It just leaves a residue and I don't like it. Oh, just mentioning prices so we know. This size is $12 and then the big size is $30, but again, wouldn't really recommend it, but maybe you're interested in that. So I just want you to know the prices. All right, and then lastly, but not leastly, well, kind of just middle E, because this was a mid product for me. So this is their Climate Veil Tinted Light Medium SPF 20. So what I was doing, I told you that I would use the oil in the morning, so then I would put this on top. I do think they pair nicely together. My problem with this is because it's tinted, you can kind of see it's in the lid a little bit. It's too dark for me, and they call it a light medium. I would just call it medium, call it what it is. It's a medium, like I'm very pale, so I can tell you, you know, hey, this this is not a light medium shade and they only have this one shade. I did like the formulation of it. It has really nice oils in it. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. It has reef safe zinc oxide to give you that SPF protection. It has vitamin C in it from lindenberries. It has natural pigment, all's really good. The problem is, this kind of product, I get where they're going with it, and that's why it's a mid product for me and not a worst, is they don't want you to have a white cast from it, so they add in that pigment. But the problem is, I look too dark with it. I mean, I look really glowy, which on camera, it, it kind of looks nice actually, but in real life, I look like an Oompa Loompa. So, I don't like that aspect of it. I think it has great ingredients. I think it would be a great SPF if it was a lighter shade for me. So I feel like where they can do better with this product and where it actually would get moved up to one of the best is if they did a light, medium, and dark option for just different skin tones. I know that's not perfect by any means. This isn't supposed to actually be like a base product. It's really just supposed to be an SPF, but they've added that tint to it so people aren't getting white cast because we all hate that, right? Like everyone hates that. Even on my pale self, you can see it. 
But the problem with that is then you're excluding so many people. Yeah, that's kind of what I have to wrap up about this SPF product. I actually think the formulation's great. I would love it if it wasn't a paler shade, but it's not. And I just don't really feel comfortable going outside the house looking orange. Alrighty y'all, so let me know your thoughts on this video. If you've heard of this line, if you want to try it, I actually really have liked it. Again, very impressed by the ingredients, by the price point, by the effectiveness of it as well, because it's all actually pretty simple skincare, but I feel like my skin did well with it. Um, let me know if you like the style of me reviewing skincare. So I don't, I do do skincare reviews, but I do a lot more makeup on my channel because I like to give products time. That's the thing with skincare is I'm not usually going to just come on here after using it twice and be like, oh, this was so good. I want to see some actual effects of it kind of thing. So let me know if you're into this because I'll do more of them. And yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.